Ice cream, if you get my meaning, returns to our screens uh, next Saturday. Ice hockey will be back. Well, now, time for the day's results and scores in final score. Let's go straight to the video printer. The results are going through. In Division 2, Portsmouth 1, Hull 1, Manchester City 5, Coventry 1 in the First Division. And same division, you'll see Liverpool have been beaten. Arsenal 2, Liverpool 0. Quinn making his debut today, got the second Arsenal goal there. Scottish 1, Air 0, Airdrie 4. And Division 1, West Ham 2, Birmingham 0. Frank McAvenny has done it again, getting one of those goals. Ray Stewart with a penalty, the other. Division 3, Walsall 4, Bournemouth 2. And Division 4, Swindon 3, Halifax 2. Nicky Coleman scored three goals there, two for Swindon, one for Halifax, and Charlie Henry got the winner for Swindon. Division four again, Torquay one, Cambridge one, the bottom two clubs. Southern League Premier, Chelmsford five, Worcester one. That's on your coupons. And Division three, Lincoln nil, Cardiff four, the bottom club beating the club above them. Scottish one, Alloa four, Hamilton five, Hamilton in second place. Good result for them, that, and an entertaining game, I would have thought. Scottish two, Meadowbank two, East Stirling one. Scottish two, Berwick nil, Queen of the South, one. And Division four, Hereford, one. Unbeaten record at stake at home. Tranmere, four, it goes. Tranmere had a player sent off in that match, too, but 4-1 uh, win for them. Hereford, one, Tranmere, four. Go to the league result going through. Just to tell you, Portsmouth scorer this afternoon, Tommy Christensen, the Danish international, who scored last week for them, too, but Hull equalised. Portsmouth, the one, Hull, one, a final score, as you saw go through. Scottish, two. Sterling, one, Stenhouse, nil, nil. Division three, Newport, one, Blackpool, one. Newport's 10th draw of the season, they're the draw specialist. Division 1, Newcastle 2, Southampton 1, Southampton still can't win away. Moran equalised a road goal there, but Newcastle have run out there. Church 1. Uh, Fisher 1, that's on the fours. Division 3, Swansea 1, York 0, an upset there with a second place club beaten at Swansea. Go to the league result, and in Division 4, Hartlepool 4, Colchester 1. Hartlepool might be out of the cup, but they're going well. well. And I hear that Manchester United have won, 3-1 away at Aston Villa today, and Mark Hughes got the final goal back on the score sheet. Southern League Premier, Bedworth 1, Whitney 1, beginning to Sheffield United 1, Stoke 2, another Nick Mills, Stoke are beginning to go well. Up high, Scottish 2, Queen's Park 2, Town beat Mills, beginning to Barnsley 2, Charlton 1, the second place club beaten. Barnsley with a good home record, beaten only once on their own ground. Scottish 1, 4 for 2, 4 for 1. There will be results going through there. Score draws so far, 5, Division 2 now, Middlesbrough. Wimbledon. No, Wimbledon not a great away side, beaten for the second week running without scoring and slipping a little. Division 1, Nottingham Forest 2, Luton 0. Luton were 7th, that's Forest first win in 9. Nigel Clough got their first goal this afternoon, at least 10th of the season. Division 4, Chester 1, Scunthorpe 1. Good away point that for Scunthorpe against the leaders of that division. Indeed, they led in that match. Scottish Premier Rangers 1, Dundee United 1. David Dodd's goal for United was eventually equalised there. Division 3, Wolverhampton Wanderers 2, Wigan 2, another score draw. I think that match is not on the coupons there. Division 3, Brentford 1, Bury 0. So Manchester United will extend their lead at the top tonight to, I think, five points. And at the latest count, 13 players have been sent off in the Cannon League today and one in Scotland. Orient's John Sitton, incidentally, uh, sent off for the third time this season, match against Burnley. Division 1, Aston Villa 1, Manchester United 3 confirmed, Scottish 1, Dunbarton 1, Clyde 1, and Scottish Premier Aberdeen 4, Hibbs 0, Aberdeen uh, will stay top. Scottish 1, Morton 2, Brekin 0. Division 2 of the Canada League, Blackburn 2, Sunderland 0. Blackburn's first win in nine matches that, they'd slumped a bit. And Sunderland once again going through a bit of a bad patch after turning the corner, it seems. Scottish 2, Dunfermline 1, Stranra 0. And Division 3, Plymouth 4, Darlington 2. Plymouth having a good run in the league, one of the leading clubs. Scored draw so far, 8 if it stays like that. It'll be interesting. Scottish Premier, Motherwell 3, Clyde Bank 0. Well, Clyde Bank beat uh, the leaders Aberdeen in midweek, but uh, lose today. Goal of league with them 4, Boston 1, Scottish Premier. Hearts 1, they were 2nd. Celtic 1. So Hearts will stay second. Celtic behind them with goals in, in hand, uh, with games in hand rather. Division two, Millwall two, Huddersfield one. Huddersfield now haven't won in ten matches. They look like promotion contenders early in the season. Division three, Rotherham one, Notts County nil. Now Notts County, one of the third division promotion hopefuls. Looking for their fourth win running today, but didn't get it. Now the third division leaders, Reading one, Bristol City nil.
Reading will stay well out front. Altrincham, who had success in the cup last week, winning at Blackpool, beaten at home by Stafford Rangers today in the Gola League. Division 3, Bolton 2, Chesterfield 1. Matt Lofthouse now, famous old Inter international in charge at Bolton. Division 2, Leeds 1, Fulham 0, and Fulham cannot score goals away. They've done so in only one away game. Leeds beginning to uh, get some points tucked away now under Billy Bremner. Score draw so far, 9. Charlie Nicholas, incidentally, got the first Arsenal goal this afternoon in their 2-0 victory over Liverpool. And Niall Quinn, a uh, six-foot-four young man from Ireland, a former hurler and Gaelic footballer, got the second goal. What a debut game for him. Let's just see Everton 1, Leicester 2 going through. And that is an upset, with Leicester completing the double over Everton. You'll remember they beat them on the opening day of the season. Division 1, Oxford United 2, West Brom 2. Useful point for West Brom, who haven't got many. Only one win all season, of course. Alan Smith got the winner for Leicester. He's got a lot of goals for them this season. Scottish Premier Dundee 3, St Mirren 1. And Division 2, Grimsby 0, Brighton 2. Brighton's uh, first away points in four tries, that. Grimsby have won their last four homes, too. Scottish 1, Montrose 4, Kilmarnock. The lead is well beaten. Kilmarnock 1. Scottish 2, Arbroath 2, Wraith 2. And Division 2 of the Cannon League, Oldham 1, Norwich 3. Norwich going well in third place. Nine without the peak now in the league. And Oldham had slumped. They were way up there early on. Still waiting the, for the Watford-Tottenham uh, result is one that springs to mind. Uh, but let's hear about that victory for Arsenal. Uh, their first goals in some time, beating Liverpool 2-0 today. John Motson reporting. Yes, in their previous three league matches, Des Arsenal had failed to score, while Liverpool had been beaten only twice in 20 league games this season. But dear old football can be relied upon to make a delightful nonsense of the form book, even in these stereotyped times. Arsenal were two up in 25 minutes through Charlie Nicholas and newcomer Niall Quinn, and a crowd of 35,000 were starting to forget some of the dull, dreary football they'd seen earlier in the season. But today it was Liverpool who were sluggish in midfield. And when their first clean chance arrived after 63 minutes, it was Ian Rush of all people who made an embarrassing hash of it. A rejuvenated Graham Ricks proved that a spell in Arsenal's reserves had done him no harm, and he might have had a couple of, couple of goals himself. For Liverpool, Steve Nichols struck the post in a late rally. He was also booked, and substitute Kevin McDonald headed wide when well placed. But they looked human enough today for Kenny Dalgleish to consider putting himself back in the side at some stage over the busy forthcoming holiday period. Arsenal 2, Liverpool 0. John gets a cheer. We've got uh, more reports to come, but now let's have the classified check beginning with the Cannon League Division 1. Arsenal 2, Liverpool nil. No. Aston Villa 1, Manchester United 3, uh, Chelsea 2, Sheffield Wednesday 1, Everton 1, Leicester City 2, Ipswich Town 1, Queen's Park Rangers 0, no. Manchester City 5, Coventry City 1, Newcastle United 2, Southampton 1, Nottingham Forest 2, Luton Town 0, no. Oxford United 2, West Bromwich Albion 2, Watford 1, Tottenham Hotspur 0. This match, West Ham United and Birmingham City, not on a coupon. West Ham United 2, Birmingham City 0. Cannon League Division 2, Barnsley 2, Charlton Athletic 1. Blackburn Rovers 2, Sunderland 0. Crystal Palace and Shrewsbury Town playing tomorrow Sunday. Grimsby Town nil. Brighton and Hove Albion two. Leeds United one. Fulham nil. Middlesbrough one. Mid Wimbledon nil. Millwall two. Huddersfield Town one. Oldham Athletic one. Norwich City three. Portsmouth one. Hull City one. Sheffield United one. Stoke City two and League Division 3. Bolton Wanderers 2, Chesterfield 1. Brentford 1, Berry 0. Bristol Rovers 1, Gillingham 0. Playing tomorrow, Sunday, Doncaster Rovers and Derby County. Lincoln City 0, Cardiff City 4. Newport County 1, Blackpool 1. Plymouth Argyle 4, Darlington 2. 
Reading 1, Bristol City, nil. Rotherham United 1, Notts County, nil. Swansea City 1, York City, nil. Walsall 4, Bournemouth 2. Wolverhampton Wanderers 2, Wigan Athletic 2. And on to League Division 4. Burnley 1, Orient 0. Chester City 1, Scunthorpe United 1. Hartlepool United 4, Colchester United 1. Hereford United 1, Canary Rovers 4. Northampton Town 2, Port Vale 2. Peterborough United 4, Mansfield Town 2. Preston North End 1. Aldershot, 3. Rochdale against Southend United, match postponed. Swindon Town, 3. Halifax Town, 2. Torquay United, 1. Cambridge United, 1. The fine pair, Scottish League against Premier Division. Aberdeen, 4. Hibernian, 0. Dundee, 3. St. Mirren, 1. Heart of Midlothian, 1. Celtic, 1. Motherwell, 3. Clyde Bank, 0. Rangers, 1. Dundee United, 1. Scottish League Division, 1. Alloa, 4. Hamilton Academical, 5. A United, 0. Edwardians, 4. Dumbarton, 1. Clyde, 1. A four five eight two Halifax. Macrovers four, the Monarch one. Morton two, Beacon City nil. Party Thistle one, East Fife nil. Scottish League Division two, Albion Rovers two, St Johnston four. Our both two, Race Rovers two. Berwick Rangers nil. Queen of the South one. Dunfermline Athletic one, Stranra nil. Meadowbank Thistle 2, East Orange 1. Queen's Park 2, Cowden Beef 0. Stanning Albion 1, Stenhouse Muir 0. The Southern League Premier Division of Church 1, Fisher Athletic 1. Bedford United 1, Whitney Town 1. Chelmsford City 5, Worcester City 1. Corby Town 1, Gray's End 2. The last two score draws there brought the total to 11, and there were no no score draws on today's three points. Telephone French are required for 24 points, but the dividend forecast is considered to be moderate. Here are the numbers. 9, 18, 24, 30, 33, 38, 39, 40, 45, 47, and 50. Let's see what uh, re uh, effect today's results have had on the league tables as we go to the top of Division 1. Manchester United are now five points clear after their away win, Liverpool's defeat. West Ham made it 17 uh, without defeat. McAvenny did it again. They remain third, but look, they're right up there with Liverpool. Same points now. Chelsea beat uh, Sheffield Wednesday to go clear of them by three points. And Everton was surprisingly beaten at home uh, by Leicester City, who did the double over them uh, for this season. Bottom of the first division looks like this. West Brom did, in fact, get a point uh, away today. Ipswich are seven above them. Then Birmingham City, the club up for sale. Uh, Villa beaten today. Oxford and, and Leicester above them. Division two, Norwich City are the new leaders on goal difference from Portsmouth, who were held today 1-1. Charlton, uh, slipper place to third. Barnsley now go fourth, ahead of Sheffield United. Palace are still there. Top of the third division now. Reading, 15 points clear now of uh, Plymouth Argyle, who are having a successful run. York upset today. Gillingham slip a place to fourth. Notts County, fifth. Blackpool are sixth. Division four, Chester City still out front, uh, just about from Swindon Town, who had to come from behind to win today. Hartlepools go third. South End United, uh, their match was postponed today because of a waterlogged pitch. Right, let's move north of the border now and uh, hear the main stories from there from Archie McPherson. Archie.
Thank you, Des. Uh, well, Aberdeen had an excellent day today, winning by four goals to nothing, helped by players scoring the first goals of the season, Angus, Weir and Miller all scoring for the, the first time in the league, and Alec McLeish, the Scottish international centre-half, adding a fourth just on time. A great game at uh, Tancaster today, with Hearts and Celtic drawing by one goal each. The first goal scored by Hearts Robertson in the ninth minute, an equaliser coming from Mark McGee, who was transferred recently from Hamburg, as you know, in the 67th minute. An astonishing game at Ibrox today. I saw Dundee United go in the lead in only 55 seconds. They tore the Rangers' defence apart after that, couldn't put the ball in the back of the net. And Ali McCoist, who's now scored Rangers' last five goals, got the equaliser five minutes from time. Dundee, they're going strongly again. They won by three goals to one at St Mirren today, an easy victory for them, with Harvey, Brown and Stephen, the scorers, Gallagher for uh, St Mirren. And Motherwell, who are at the foot of the table, had two players sent off today, and C Clyde Bank won, and Motherwell's 3-0 victory. So that's how the Premier Division looks tonight. And in the second division, in the first division, uh, Alloa were beaten at home by Hamilton by five goals to four, and with Killy losing against Montrose, that means that uh, Hamilton go to the top of the first division for the first time this season. And in the second division, there we are, Dunfermline, going extremely well, getting very big crowds up there. They won by one goal to nothing against Stenar today, and they stay on top. Thanks, Archie. See you tomorrow, Sports Review of the Year. Uh, now the day's rugby union is out.